Hello and welcome to the Beauty Know It All. It's dupes time. Skincare dupes this week and then I'm going to film another one of makeup dupes that can go up pretty soon anyway in the next couple of weeks. And I did this first about three or four months ago and you've all been nagging me so much to do it again. And I wanted to wait till enough things came in and I'm going right the way through from clay masks to glycolic masks to dry masks to antioxidant serums right the way through to uh, skin illuminating primers. So let's start. I was quite excited to be sent this. This is Zenny, which is an antioxidant serum. And it is basically a competitor. I mean, it's still fairly expensive, let's be honest here. This is 85 pounds. Look, do you recognize this sort of packaging? This is a competitor to my beloved SkinCeuticals CE Furolic, which is I think 129 pounds. It's a lot of money. It does last me about five months though, and I do absolutely love it. But Zenny is a brand new uh, range that's being launched in the UK, and this is called Antioxidant Power Serum. It's 85 pounds, and it has pretty much the same ingredients, even at a higher concentration. So it has more vitamin C, plus it's got um, ferulic in it as well. And I think if you're thinking of using an everyday antioxidant serum, then why wouldn't you try this? I mean, um, I love SkinCeuticals. Everybody knows I do. I do. I talk about them on my Instagram the whole time. I talk about using them every day and I mix and match my serums. And this is going to be my next antioxidant serum to try. I mean, it's sort of two thirds of the price. It's still not cheap, I know, but for some reason, high street brands still aren't doing really good antioxidant serums and they need to start. I promise I will do a video about antioxidant serums too. So that's my first dupe. Should we talk, talk charcoal masks? Now everybody knows those sort of really weird stretch off charcoal masks that were big on Instagram over the summer are not really good for your skin, but charcoal is good for your skin if you suffer from block pores, oily skin, excess sebum, excess shine, because it's essentially like a mop on your skin. It's like a sort of charcoal sponge that absorbs all of the sebum and in the process, a lot of the dead skin cells and a lot of the sort of dirt and grime buildup. And there are some really great ones out there. This is a classic. This is Origins Clear Improvement. It must have been around at least 15 years. And it's a classic, classic really well formulated charcoal mask. It's, it's really great. Um, these things aren't claiming to lift your skin. I don't believe that masks in the long term can lift your skin. I mean, that's just crazy. I'm not even sure serums can lift your skin, but they can really clear out pores. They're like sort of a an activated charcoal hoover on your pores. And that's a really classic product. And it's a great one and it's a bestseller for a good reason. But you obviously know that L'Oreal Paris have their clay detox mask, which is a really great product. It's packaged a little bit more, let's be honest here, like Glam Glow. I mean, this has been designed to be a little bit of a dupe for Glam Glow because Glam Glow is obviously a hugely revolutionary and really successful skincare range. But the closest I can find, you'll not be surprised to hear, is by Beauty Pie. How can we do dupes and not talk about Beauty Pie? And Beauty Pie have this sort of, I love this sort of look, this sort of Chanel alike packaging. And they have a super poor detox black clay mask, which is a fraction of the price. And I think if you're going to sign up to Beauty Pie and you're committed to that idea that you're going to join it and you're going to buy enough products, then this is a brilliant dupe. They all have exactly the same activated black charcoal ingredient in them. And pretty much all charcoals work the same way. They're incredibly porous. They're basically, they attract water and they attract oil and they just sort of do that to your skin. Not in sense of firming, but in the sense of deep cleaning. Should we talk masks? Let's talk more masks, okay? Let's start by talking glycolic masks. I personally love a glycolic mask and I'm currently loving this. This is the Murad Two Step. There's a retexturizing swab, which is essentially a glycolic acid on a swab. And then you put the hyaluronic acid infused mask over the top, so you get a resurfacing, and then you get a hydration. And I love it. It's a really great pre-big night out, Sunday night facial routine. Um, I re I'm a big fan of Murad. You'll hear me speak about them quite a lot but they're not cheap, let's be honest here, but you will see a visible difference in your skin. And then Nip Fab come along and are just launching a new range of sheet masks and this is their glycolic mask. A fraction of the price, 
Nipfab are very good on glycolics and it really works. This isn't two steps, it's glycolic and hyaluronic acid in one mask. Both of them tingle. Both of them are perfect for a Sunday night facial. And can I just say, talking of Nipfab, because I don't have it here, but I did a video which I will link below on my favorite glycolic resurfacing body lotions. And I mentioned Exuvians and I mentioned, in fact, I put them on the side over there. Let me have a look over there. I'm sure I mentioned Ameliate, which is a lactic acid one, but I mentioned Exuvians, which is, and Paula's Choice, and they've both got glycolic acid body lotions, but they're quite expensive. Well, Nipfab do something called glycolic body fix. It's like £10 from Boots and Selfridges, so from the high street, from the drugstore, and it's brilliant. They are, that is a perfect dupe if you want a glycolic acid body lotion, which, let's be honest, this time of year, you're starting to put on your boots, put on your trousers, put on your opaque tights, and sometimes you can neglect your legs and arms, and a glycolic body lotion two or three times a week can make sure that your skin say, stays super exfoliated and super hydrated at the same time. So Nipfab is a really great high street dupe range, full stop really, but they're particularly good at glycolics. Now, talking of Nipfab, because I'm gonna do another shout out to Nipfab here, they've just launched this as well, which is a no needle fix eye mask. I mean, why no needles, it's ridiculous. It's not a competitor to anything like Botox, but it's a brilliant hyaluronic eye mask. It actually goes across both eye masks at once. We need to see more of these on the high street. I absolutely love them. I use them. In fact, I was shooting earlier this week with Rankin. Ooh, get me. And the first thing the makeup artist did, because obviously I'm a woman of a certain age, was stick some eye masks on, and she used Elemis eye patches, which I use a lot, and I use a lot pre-TV, but they're quite expensive. I've got two here, which will give you an example of the sort of thing that's available on the market. That's Bliss Triple Oxygen, which is actually a mask and a little pot. Let me get it out for you. It's a little pot of hyaluronic acid. So it comes like that. Can you see that? And then what you do is you basically pop that and then it goes into here and then these pads become infused with hyaluronic acid and you sit them under your eyes here. SK2 Signs Eye Mask, if you open them up, have exactly the same here, but they're ready infused. Estee Lauder do some as well. All of the high-end brands will do a really good acid, really good hyaluronic acid. That's not a resurfacing acid, it's a hydrating molecule eye mask and they make a really big difference. If you're a little bit puffy or you're tired and you're young, they will refresh the eye. If you're my age, they will soften all of those fine lines, only temporarily, but enough for a big night out or a day out or something like that. And they do visibly make a difference. I remember once testing them on TV, we tested the Elemis ones and we did a, um, a 3D camera that showed up the lines on a lady's face. And then we put them on for 20 minutes, she came back and the lines had shrunk by 50%. It's a temporary effect but it really does hyperhydrate the surface of the skin. So that's the high-end version. That is the high street version, a fraction of the price. Now, bearing in mind the effects don't last, why should you have to pay so much money for the effect? Personally, I use hyaluronic acid serums. I use Layer Up 2 at least twice a day, so they're really important for me. Now, can I just say a quick shout out? You know I absolutely love the Charlotte Tilbury dry sheet mask. Now, this in a way is a dupe of Nanette de Gaspé. Nanette de Gaspé launched them originally, and I think, I think they're like 83 quid per single mask. And I interviewed Nanette and the creative uh, director, the scientific director, and they basically call it wear wearable technology. And they're really clever because they're dry masks. You know, normally you put on a mask and they're all wet and soggy and you have to sort of, you know, lie down for 20 minutes. Well, these ones, you hook them over the back of your ear and they're brilliant. They really do hydrate, even though they feel super dry because they use the warmth of your skin. And in fact, you can use a patting motion over the top to get the active ingredients in your skin. Well, Charlotte obviously saw this technology and thought I need to bring this available to women in high-end stores. So she created hers and I think hers is 60 for three. There's a company called Swiss Clinic because obviously the technology does work as well. This is the face perfecting dry mask. They're all absolutely the same inside by the way. So they come like that, you open them up, they're really dry. You put them on, hook them over the back of your ears. But can I just say, when I looked this up, I was disappointed to find this was more expensive than this. Why isn't the technology coming down? Surely someone somewhere, Beauty Pie, L'Oreal, oh, The Ordinary, Decium, 
please make dry sheet technology, mask technology available to us all because it's really good. I nearly swore there. But sadly, these things are still expensive. Um, I filmed with Charlotte. I've got a video. In fact, it's not going to come up on this channel, but I will try and get hold of it and put it up on this channel where we're talking Hollywood skin secrets. We did it for Selfridges. I did it as a favour to her just because I adore her. Right. Finally, let's talk about this product. <laughs> this is the Victoria Beckham Cult. Um, it's called Morning Aura. I was wondering, I was just having a look quickly if it came in colours because basically she's reissued it. And it's a real beauty editor's favourite. And look how gorgeous the packaging. I mean, it is absolutely lovely. But And I do love it. And I and I have used it. And it's, it's, let me put it on the back of my hand and show you what it's like. So basically, it's being marketed as skincare. And it does have skincare properties. But what it really is, is a really soft focus, color neutral hydrating so it's got hyaluronic acid in but it's also got these light reflecting particles so you get there you go that's a matte hand and that's got that soft shimmer on it hand and it's a lovely product to use super light i don't really like heavy creams and i would definitely put all my serums on and then put it on and then put my makeup on the top and then you can even go in afterwards and dab it here it's what i call grown-up sophisticated soft focus highlighter stroke strobing but without the you can see me from space because obviously you know is victoria 40 yet anyway she's a grown-up she doesn't want to look like instagram strobing shimmer but don't think you have to spend that sort of money to get that product you'll not be surprised to hear that it comes from the estee lauder companies who originally did strobe cream this is the original and this is where Victoria is really clever. She made hers more peachy, not golden, not tanned, but just a beautiful, flattering, suits all skins peach shade. Whereas strobe cream is a little bit, well, it's a lot more silvery, a lot more silvery, but it would really, it does really suit all skins. So that's Victoria Beckham. That's, you see that? Victoria Beckham strobe cream. where Victoria got her inspiration from but you want a high street equivalent look no further than rosy for autograph sheer finish complexion enhancer which comes in different shades as well I've got the nude here which is a really good dupe for the Victoria Beckham really similar color it's a it's actually a lighter texture but just as hydrating but this is where Rosie's been incredibly clever. I've got them behind me here. They come in different shades as well. So I've got here beige, nude and warm beige, but it comes in more shades than that. It's a fraction of the price. I feel that these things have sort of replaced primers because um, I've never really got a primer as a concept, but I get that this is a skincare makeup hybrid. You could technically wear them on their own if you've got gorgeous skin, but they give you a sort of gorgeous 3D healthy, I've just been for a sort of run glow without any unflattering, I don't want to highlight my flaws, shimmer and shine. You should check this range out. Um, I'll say that she's been inspired by a very successful makeup range, my friend Charlotte Tilbury. But I love Rosie. And I do think that some of the products in this range are incredible, and this is one of them. I really like it. So there you go. That's my skin. Teasing makeup dupes. Um, if you know any other dupes, let me know. I should put the link into my original skincare dupes, which was all about serums and things like that, below. And then I'm gonna come back next week inspired by my lovely illuminating morning aura-esque primers. And we're going to talk about makeup because some of the palettes that have come out recently on the high street are a fraction of the price of the cult really big palettes out there at the moment so we'll do that we'll do lips i think i've got some lip liners as well and some mascaras thank you for watching uh join me for makeup dupes soon probably in about 10 days two weeks time because i'm going to film that next week for you any questions asked below i should put all the prices all the details all the links to where you can get everything thank you for watching and thank you for subscribing i'll see you soon